Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump about to drop presidential hammer on Obama after he tried to take over investigation. More and more is coming out about Spygate. The Obama administration tried to take over the FBI's investigation of the Trump campaign, according to The Hill's John Solomon. He covered it last night on Hannity's show and then wrote on it extensively at The Hill. Solomon claims that the FBI began spying on members of the Trump campaign to gather the intelligence that ultimately justified the collusion investigation, weeks or even months before the FBI had a formal predicate. If true, the whole thing was cooked up and premeditated. It was indeed a pre-planned coup and President Trump is about to drop the presidential hammer on all of them. That's very important. The rules say you can't use sources until you have a predicated investigation. The predication is July 31, 2016, Solomon told Hannity. The investigative reporter said he had sources and documents backing up his claim that he would be making public in his report in The Hill on Friday and he did just that. Solomon started off his well-researched piece with this. The bridge to the Russia investigation wasn't erected in Moscow during the summer of the 2016 election. It originated earlier, 1,700 miles away in London, where foreign figures contacted Trump campaign advisors and provided the FBI with hearsay allegations of Trump-Russia collusion, bureau documents and interviews of government insiders reveal. These contacts in spring 2016, some from trusted intelligence sources, others from Hillary Clinton supporters, occurred well before FBI headquarters authorized an official counterintelligence investigation on July 31, 2016. The new timeline makes one wonder, did the FBI follow its rules governing informants? A very good question and of course the answer is a resounding no. Solomon stressed that informants were making contacts with the Trump officials and providing information to the FBI much, much earlier than July 31. Then he drops the bombshell that according to the FBI, the White House and Obama wanted to take over the whole investigation. Here is where that led on Sean Hannity's show last night. John Solomon, I'm putting finishing touches on a column that I think will come out tomorrow. And it will reveal two really important things. The efforts to begin targeting and reaching out to Trump campaign officials to gain intelligence on Russia that would ultimately justify the investigation began weeks and maybe months before the FBI had a formal predicate. And that's very important the rules say you can't use sources until you have a predicated investigation. The investigation is July 31, 2016. My sources and documents that I will be able to make public tomorrow will show that there were contacts going on by people identified as informers, informants, people who provided information began much, much earlier than July 31. That's the first part. The second part is as the investigation was just starting to ramp up there are internal FBI documents showing FBI agents talking about the White House trying to take over the investigation. Fears that the Justice Department were going to leak for political reasons and their own personal fear. Sean Hannity, slow down. When you say the White House you mean the Obama White House they were attempting to take over the investigation. John Solomon, that's what these messages say. Sean Hannity, these are FBI messages and this is the Obama White House. How high up are we talking about here? John Solomon, we don't know the messages are just what they are. Solomon covers in the second part of his report the internal FBI communications between former counterintelligence agent Peter Strzok, his mistress Lisa Page and others discussing how the Obama White House was trying to take over the investigation. The words the White House is running this are clear in the text message, Solomon told Hannity adding that the FBI agents who opened this case feared that Barack Obama was weak on national security and wouldn't do what they needed for Russia. Wowzers! He went on to say, the political elements of the administration were trying to intrude on the FBI investigation. Solomon's report does not sync with what former Obama Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes wrote about the investigation in his new book The World As It Is, which is set to be published next week by Random House. Well, duh. Rhodes is lying. That's what he is good at and has done from the beginning. In his book, Rhodes claims that Obama didn't know there was an FBI investigation into the Trump campaign's possible contacts with Russia until he left office. That's just laughable. Rhodes said that neither he nor Mr. Obama knew at that time that there was an FBI investigation, according to the New York Times, which obtained an advance copy of the book. Way to cover your collective backsides. No one believes that. The failed novelist claims in the book that he learned about the FBI investigation from news reports after he left office. Gee, that is the same excuse Obama used multiple times during his presidency. Tell a lie often enough, these guys really think Americans are gullible and stupid. Rhodes is simply insulting our intelligence here. 
I wouldn't buy his book to use as a doorstop. No collusion between President Trump and Russia has ever been proven because it does not exist. The only ones gaining from this are Mueller and his team who are getting paid a ton to try and tie the president's hands to keep him from doing his job. Taxpayers have wasted almost $17 million on the Russia probe since Mueller took over in 2017, according to a spending report just released by the DOJ. About $10 million was spent in the five months between October 2017 and March 2018 alone. That includes $4.5 million in hefty salaries for Mueller's team of Trump-hating Democratic attorneys and another $5.5 million spent on random expenses. Solomon's report gives justification to President Trump to stop this nonsense. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.